by Oniema and Wachuku. Dash. Attention of the Nigerian Army, NA, has been drawn to some publications making the rounds on social media and some mainstream media alleging that troops of headquarters 82 Division NA invaded a Mang community in Abia state. Considering the weighty nature of the allegation, the Nigerian army deems it necessary to clear the air on this atrocious incident. On November 2, 2022, a soldier named Staff Sergeant Basi Akinugwan, who was officially on leave pass, was abducted along road Akwa Obeim Oafia in Abia state. Consequently, on Thursday, November 3, 2022, acting on credible intelligence report, troops embarked on a search and rescue operation at a manged village slash forest, having confirmed same as an indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB and Eastern Security Network, ESN, Enclave, where the soldier was reportedly held hostage. During the search and rescue operations, contact was made with members of the proscribed armed groups resulting in exchange of fire. In continuation of the search and rescue operations, on November 4, 2022, troops deployed at Okon Aku in Abia State came in contact with members of the armed groups, during which troops neutralized one of the criminals and recovered one AK-47 rifle with a magazine loaded with seven rounds of 7.62 mm, special, and one mobile phone. In a follow-up operation on November 5, 2022, troops raided another enclave of the groups around Amang village in Abia state. During the operation, troops neutralized two of the criminals, while some fled with gunshot wounds. Troops recovered two locally fabricated AK-47 rifles, four pump-action guns, one locally made pistol, one sniper rifle, six magazines, 13 rounds of 7.62 mm, an ATO and one motorcycle. Other items recovered from the dissidents are two CCTV cameras, one solar panel, flags, one walkie-talkie, two mobile phones, two pamphlets of Biafran Anthem, one neck box, 12 face caps, machetes, pairs of combat boots, pairs of rain boot, camouflage uniforms, one transistor radio, two jungle hats, two knee guards, one power bank, one neck image capturing machine and a PVC. Sadly, during these engagements, one soldier paid the supreme sacrifice. The Na will leave no stone unturned in the search of the abducted soldier. The NA assures the general public that all operations will be conducted within the ambit of the law and in line with global best practices, rules of engagement and code of conducts guiding NA operations. It should be clear to all that criminal acts of attack on and abduction of service personnel is an act against the state which will not go without consequences. The recourse to employment of propaganda by these criminal elements will not deter the army from carrying out its constitutional mandate. Law-abiding citizens of a Mang community are also advised to go about their legitimate businesses without panic, as the military is always on ground to protect lives and properties. At VIEW's exclusive rights, Oniema and Wachuku, Brigadier General, Director, Army Public Relations. November 9, 2022